Maybe I should have a cooking show. Just kidding. Bread in the mouth. Hey buds, let's cook. So welcome to my kitchen. I'm starting something new this week and it is the Holland's cooking challenge. <laughs> I'm trying to make three meals a week at home and this is a really big deal for us because Peter and I are always on the go and it seems like we're just never having time to cook at home. But we love our kitchen and we love being at home and we want to have a normal dinner time together at least three nights a week. So I'm starting with that and I need your help. I'm not the worst cook but I'm not great. So I have a lot of recipe books and the first thing I need to do is choose what I'm gonna make. So come with me and I'm gonna try to choose some meals for this week and then over the course of the next month or two, hopefully, if I can keep up with my cooking challenge, you guys can see me trying to make some of these meals and see what Peter thinks and see if we both can establish some kind of little meal time together. So here we go. This one's my favorite from my mom. It's a little more personal. So it's really neat. It's like family favorites. Okay, so I think one of two things is gonna happen with this vlog. Either it's gonna be really boring, or I'm gonna make you really hungry. I'll try to be entertaining as I look through my cookbooks. Ooh, stuffed peppers. Oh, tuna? No. Cottage cheese casserole. I like cottage cheese, but I don't know. Hottie scout beans. What does that mean? I like beans, but then our house would smell. <gasps> this sounds so good. Done, I found my first recipe. Woohoo! How long is this gonna take? One and a half hours? Ah, that's a lot. I'm gonna make a quiche for one of my dinners. I know Peter likes quiche and I really do too. Wow, this is really complicated. One last recipe to find this week. This little cookbook was made for me by a good friend of mine from high school. Oh, I love it. Like a picture of Peter and I from when we were on a ship. And it's some of their favorite recipes that they used a lot in their first two years of marriage. Yeah, I guess it took people only a couple years of marriage to figure out how to cook. Six years later and here we are. I'm gonna do sour cream chicken enchiladas tonight, stuffed peppers on Tuesday, and a veggie cheesy yummy quiche on Wednesday. I'm set. Cheers to the Holland's cooking challenge. Let's hope I can do it. <gasps> Just in time! Okay. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna tell you what recipes I'm making this week. Okay, what? Get excited. Drum roll, please. Tonight, we will have cheesy veggie quiche. Ooh. Not as excited about that, maybe. You like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow night, we will have stuffed peppers in the crock pot. Look, two recipes with meat. Are you excited? And then... Sour cream chicken enchiladas. Wait, shut up. <laughs> that sounds good, right? Yeah. It's my first cooking vlog. I need to impress them. So Rainy's here with me, helping me cook. Actually, she's just begging. Chopping my broccoli for my quiche. It's hard to do it with one hand. So I'm getting really confident already, you guys, because I'm going to give you a cooking tip. You can really use all these extra bits. Like, you don't just need to use the tree part. So I've cut all this stuff up, but now I'm going to use a lot of the stock. The heart of the broccoli. Don't cut the onion without a piece of bread in your mouth. That helps because I'm already crying. <gasps> Look, it's like another cooking tip. So cut it off before her. I can't do it with one hand. So um, I'll be back after I cut the onions and hopefully this will help because, who my eyes are on fire. Whoa! Okay, I think I need to take it out. I only got that far and I want to eat some. This is gonna be a problem. Bruyere is like, Whoa. Like, whoa. Okay, are you all ready for the finished product? Oh, quiche. This is made for right handed people, which I am not. Cuts like a quiche. Ooh. Oh. Are you coming? Yeah. <laughs> come. 
I'm so excited and kind of nervous. It looks nice. It looks like, right? It like, I'm proud of you. It's kind of cheesy, but. Is it going to poison me? I don't know. I hope not. We oh, need to take our first so bite. Amazing. You're like the best wife ever. Dinner. Ooh, Thank did you. everybody hear that? Okay, this is the moment of truth. I want Peter. Have you to... even tasted it? No. Uh oh. I want Peter to try it. I'm sure first. it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Really good. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, for real? Yeah. You're just saying that because the camera's on. <laughs> no, I'm like, it tastes really good. Yay! I think I did it, everybody. Oh, you, now you taste it. <laughs> Isn't it good? It's good. Yeah. And now we eat. Bye. Bye. Okay, so this was actually a big success. Peter thinks it's the best thing I've ever made, which is crazy, but. That's, so good. That's how. It's true. That's how I bad I. It. It was. <laughs> no! The bonus about quiche is you can have it for breakfast or lunch or dinner because there's eggs and cheese. All right, you guys, it is night number two of the Holland's cooking challenge. Is that what I called it? We've got something in the crock pot. So we made stuffed peppers. Basically, I stirred the ingredients together is what I did. Peter filled the peppers. He cut them, cleared them out, and filled them with the stuff. So that was pretty impressive. This was a collaborative effort by the Hollins family. So if the dinner's bad, it's not all my fault. So we're supposed to get three tablespoons, but there's a lot of water in there. Okay, it's safely on the plate. I'm not so sure about this. Here we go. <laughs> so, I mean, do I like I bite know. into the pepper too, or like? Um, yeah, but that's, you can cut it with a knife. Right, cut with a knife? I've never eaten a stuffed pepper before. Well, I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> this isn't a good, as good of a reaction as the quiche. <laughs> He's sniffing it and calling it interesting. I think I ruined it. What's the word? It's interesting. <laughs> we had healthy pepper yep. with ground turkey breast mm -hmm. and lean beef and onions and corn, oh, no. and wild rice. So we should get a blizzard because <laughs> that'll taste better. <laughs> Is that your first vegetable you've ever I think, eaten? I, I think she thinks it's interesting. It's like, Just like we did. It's pretty interesting. I might need to wash this down with Dairy Queen. Is that what you Do you want some ice cream afterwards, honey? Okay, so to save some of the, the meat we already prepped for those amazing pepper-filled interesting things we had, Last night, I'm just gonna make hamburgers with it. My only worry is I've never actually done this before, and the fact that, if you can see, there's like a bunch of corn and onions and other stuff in it. All right, I wish you guys could smell, but so far, it smells like I'm um, burning it. Peter made a hamburger, I don't guys. even know if I, ate, if I cooked it long enough. It's like really liquidy, like really soft. what happens when the Hollands just try to cook three nights in a row. Okay, so I just <laughs> dropped a piece of quiche on the floor. Rainy's so excited. Peter, she won't she won't stop. I can't stop her, it's too cute. She inhaled it. Oh my Even God. Rainy likes my quiche. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. I believe you dropped your quiche. I know. <laughs> well, the quiche was good. Very. So here. good that get my get dog liked the piece that I dropped. Get this piece right here. Rainy, right here. She's so focused. Rainy, right here. Listen to Dad. Rainy, She's right like there. a mad woman. <laughs> <gasps> yeah! Oh, that's kind of gross. Her mouth's all <laughs> covered. Well, I guess I have to get another piece. She has crazy eyes because she loves my quiche. Thanks for joining me on the Holland's Cooking Challenge. See you next week. Bye, guys. Rainy, I think you've had enough human food. Too much human food. Oh, mom, but I love cheese. She loves cheese just like her mom. Rainy. Oh my god, babe, there's a spider right there. Ah, what? Where? <laughs>